The Lost Puppy Tom was walking in the park when he saw a small puppy wandering around with no owner in sight. He approached the puppy and asked, Are you lost, little guy? The puppy barked and wagged its tail, making Tom smile. He decided to help the puppy find its way home. He looked around and saw a collar with a tag that had an address on it. Tom quickly called the number on the tag, and a woman answered. Hello? This is Tom. I found your puppy in the park. He seems lost, Tom explained. The woman thanked Tom for finding her puppy and told him she would come pick him up right away. Within minutes, the woman arrived and embraced her lost puppy with tears of joy. Thank you so much for finding him. I don't know what I would have done without him, the woman said gratefully. Tom smiled and replied, No problem at all. I'm just glad I could help. Take care of him, he's a special little guy. A busy day at the market. Sarah and Jack were at the market buying fruits and vegetables for their family. As they walked around, they saw a stall selling fresh strawberries. I love strawberries. Let's buy some, Sarah said excitedly. Jack nodded in agreement and asked the vendor, How much are the strawberries? The vendor replied, They are five per pound. Sarah and Jack decided to buy two pounds of strawberries and the vendor weighed them and handed them over. As they continued shopping, they came across a stall selling homemade jams. Sarah picked up a jar of strawberry jam and said, This would go perfectly with our strawberries. Jack smiled and said, Let's get it. It looks delicious. They purchased the strawberry jam and headed home with their bags full of fruits and vegetables. The birthday surprise. It was Lisa's birthday and her friends decided to throw her a surprise party. They gathered at her house and when Lisa walked in, everyone shouted, Surprise! Lisa was shocked and filled with joy. She hugged each of her friends and said, I can't believe you all did this for me. Her friend Rachel handed her a present and said, Happy birthday, Lisa. Open it. I hope you like it. Lisa opened the gift and found a beautiful necklace inside. She was speechless and tears of happiness welled up in her eyes. You guys are the best friends ever. Thank you for making my birthday so special, Lisa said gratefully. The party continued with laughter, cake, and music making it a birthday to remember for Lisa. The Lost Puppy One sunny afternoon, Sarah went for a walk in the park. As she strolled along the path, she noticed a tiny puppy wandering all alone. The puppy looked scared and lost, so Sarah decided to help him. She gently picked up the puppy and asked around if anyone knew who he belonged to. Sadly, no one recognized the puppy. Sarah decided to take him home with her. At home, Sarah gave the puppy some food and water. The puppy wagged his tail happily and snuggled up to Sarah. She decided to name him Lucky because she found him in the park by luck. Over the next few days, Sarah and Lucky became best friends. They went for walks, played in the yard, and cuddled on the couch. Sarah taught Lucky tricks like sit, stay, and fetch. One day, Sarah noticed a missing poster for Lucky in the park. She contacted the number on the poster and reunited Lucky with his family. They were overjoyed to have him back. The lesson of the story is that kindness and compassion can lead to unexpected friendships.
By helping others in need, we create bonds that last a lifetime. The Magic Seed Samuel was a young farmer who dreamed of having a bountiful harvest. One day, an old man approached him and handed him a small seed. Plant this seed with love and care, and watch it work its magic, the old man said. Curious, Samuel planted the seed in his best soil and watered it every day. To his amazement, the seed sprouted into a magnificent tree within a week. The tree bore fruits of every kind apples, oranges, and even pineapples. Samuel shared the fruits with his neighbors and friends, spreading joy and abundance wherever he went. People came from far and wide to see the magical tree. The lesson of the story is that hard work and perseverance can lead to great rewards. By nurturing our dreams and goals with dedication, we can achieve success beyond our wildest imaginations. A day at the park. Today is a beautiful day for a walk in the park. Kevin, a young boy with curly hair and glasses, is excited to go outside. As he walks along the path, he sees a friendly dog chasing a ball. Hey, can I play too? Kevin asks the dog's owner. Of course, his name is Max. The owner replies with a smile. Kevin throws the ball, and Max fetches it back, wagging his tail happily. After playing for a while, Kevin sits on a bench to rest. An elderly woman sitting next to him strikes up a conversation. Nice weather we're having, isn't it? She says kindly. Kevin nods and replies, Yes, it's perfect for a day at the park. They chat for a bit before Kevin says goodbye and continues his walk. As he leaves the park, Kevin looks back and smiles. He had a great time meeting new friends and practicing his English along the way. The Lost Kitten Sophie, a young girl with braided hair and freckles, is on her way to school when she hears a soft meowing coming from the bushes. Curious, she investigates and finds a tiny kitten hiding there. Oh no, are you lost? Sophie asks the kitten, who looks up at her with big eyes. She gently picks up the kitten and decides to take it to the animal shelter. At the shelter, Sophie explains the situation to the staff, who thank her for bringing in the lost kitten. They check for a microchip and find the kitten's owner's contact information. The owner arrives shortly after and is overjoyed to see their missing pet. Thank you so much for finding him. They say gratefully to Sophie. As Sophie watches the happy reunion, she knows she did a good deed today. She smiles, proud of herself for helping the lost kitten find its way back home. The Magic Book One day, Lily, a timid girl with a love for books, discovers a dusty old tome hidden in the back of a library. Intrigued, she opens it and reads the first page out loud. To her surprise, the words on the page start glowing and swirling, filling the room with a warm light. Suddenly, Lily finds herself transported into the story she had just read. She lands in a magical kingdom, where talking animals and colorful flowers roam freely. A wise owl perched on a branch greets her, Welcome, young traveler. What brings you to our land? Lily, amazed by the magical world around her, begins to explore and make friends with the fantastical creatures. She learns new words and phrases from each interaction, improving her English skills as she goes. After a whirlwind adventure, 
Lily finally reaches the end of the story. As she closes the book and returns to the library, she feels a sense of wonder and gratitude for the magical journey she experienced. The Picnic Surprise Tom and Emily, a brother and sister with matching red hair, are excited for their family picnic in the park. They help pack sandwiches, fruit, and drinks into a wicker basket before heading out. As they spread a blanket on the grass and set up their picnic spot, Tom notices something rustling in the bushes nearby. What's that? he asks, pointing towards the sound. Suddenly, a group of playful squirrels emerges, hopping around and chasing each other. Look, they want to join our picnic. Emily exclaims with delight. The siblings feed the squirrels some nuts and watch as they scurry around, chattering happily. Tom tries to mimic their sounds, making Emily giggle at his silly attempts. After a lovely picnic and some squirrel watching, Tom and Emily pack up their things and head home, full of joy and laughter from their unexpected woodland guests. The Talent Show Sarah, a shy girl with a love for music, nervously prepares for the school talent show. She has been practicing a song on her guitar for weeks and hopes to impress her classmates. As she takes the stage in front of a cheering audience, Sarah feels her heart pounding in her chest. She strums the first chords of her song and begins to sing her voice clear and sweet. Halfway through her performance, Sarah's guitar string suddenly snaps, causing her to panic. Oh no, what do I do now? She thinks, feeling overwhelmed. Just then, her classmates start clapping and singing along, encouraging Sarah to keep going. With their support, Sarah finds the courage to finish her song a cappella, her voice soaring beautifully. As the last note fades away, the audience erupts into applause and cheers. Sarah blushes but smiles, feeling proud of herself for facing her fear and giving a memorable performance. The talent show ends on a high note with Sarah receiving compliments and words of encouragement from her peers. She learns that sometimes, stepping out of her comfort zone can lead to wonderful surprises and new opportunities.